Hey guys, Sam here. Uh, this is going to be our third video on the go-kart of the pickup, so I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, so guys, so what I'm going to do is uh, this edge here of the wheelbarrow, I'm going to cut it off so like the body lines look like they match. And then, uh, I don't know if you could tell very well on there, but I marked out uh, of a, uh, where I want the uh, window to have the look. So I'm going to cut these and cut that out and then uh, use, try to use this as a template on that side and do the same on that side. So I'm going to get back, or I'm going to get my cutting, uh, my grinder and my uh, safety goggles and uh, get cutting. Hey guys, so uh, I cut off the uh, rail here and I cut out the window notch uh, and the reason why we did it this distance is because we want that whole chop look and uh, the thing we're going to do with this rail is we're going to have it up here and have it go all the way around so it's more like a drip rail type thing and um, so uh, I just did the one side for now. Uh, it's getting a little dark so maybe tomorrow. I'll get to the other side and get to more things. So, I hope you guys are liking how this is coming out. Hey guys, so um, uh, I had the bed mounted and uh, I, I sat in the cab to kind of get everything uh, comfortable and I kind of pushed everything back. So I kind of, uh, messed up our uh how we extended it so i bought these uh square pipes and i notched them out and i already got one welded and so i'm going to do the other one real quick but it's to lengthen it more and so we could put our axle uh, a little further back and without any trouble so i have a square to make sure everything's straight so i'll get to welding that and then uh I'll get back with you once I get that done. Alright guys, uh, we got to take a couple of steps back to move forward. Uh, we ended up extending the frame the first time and when I put the engine on, uh it in we thought we would have been able to put the axle right underneath and we can't because of the engine i'm using so we had to move the axle back a little which made me have to extend the frame again which i did again and then i got i got the pillow blocks on so now i'm gonna cut the the original axle out and then put the new axle in so we could figure out how to mount the engine. So guys, uh, we had to re-plan out our uh, engine mount. We were first going to just drill out the holes in the bed and bolt it to that, but we uh, ran into an issue with where the uh, axle was going to be, so we made this hideous thing. Uh, it's uh, it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's right there. Um, it, again, it's not, it's not pretty, but it's solid. Might not look it, but it is. Um, like I'm able to stand on it and it, it holds me. So I'm hoping that that's uh, good enough. So now what I have to do is because this piece here sticks up higher, I'm going to have to uh, cut out a square for the uh, bed because we actually have two pieces of uh, angle iron coming down to bolt to this. So we're going to have to cut a square so it could, uh, the engine, that engine mount would drop through the bed onto this. So. I'm going to put the bed on, mark, 
probably this one because this one's pretty level. So I'm going to use this one to mark where it needs to be uh, cut out and cut out a square and fit it in. So this, the good thing it's going to be hidden from the bed, but whoever watches this will see the hideousness of this mount. So uh, I'll get back to you and show you guys what I do with the bed. So I got the uh, bed on, uh, I also put the chain on, or the bottom back sprocket to cut out some. I cut it a little bigger just so I know I have some room. Uh, it, I don't know if, if you could see, but I also got this here and underneath I welded on a bracket, uh, not a, a bracket, another flat piece of metal to kind of strengthen this part up since it's holding this part of the uh, engine. I got the bolt, I got it bolted down here, so it's all on. Well everybody, I want to show you where I'm at so far with the uh, truck. So I'm going to start up here in the front, uh, as you see, uh, it is still held on by jack stands. I do got it just tacked on because uh, we're planning on making it hinge this way so the front will come up to make it easier to go in because we're also going to have this part here the roof hinge up the opposite way so to again make it easier so we did add this blue piece here to finish the look we are going to add little fake hinges there because there is a little gap and we purposely did the gap to make it look like an actual gap on a car because when you look at the hood you see a gap line so we did that we have it gapped on and we're going to do two fake hinges here to make it look more realistic so then you move down to the side I did uh, put doors on it it has it on both sides uh, this side I did have to make it with two different pieces of metal to make the one door uh, and now I'm going to move to this wood here uh, this wood uh, it's not bolted on because we still got to do some uh, cutting and uh, molding on because when we first did it the doors weren't on and that caused it to push out this way and uh, so we're going to have to work with it right here to get it pushed in and uh, I think I mentioned it before, but we did use a torch to go on this and like just heat it, like kind of just torched on it to make it look old and beat up. So then we're also planning on making it hinge here, as I said, uh, to lift it like this to get it in and out easier. Uh, I welded the uh, back fenders on. Um, I got new back tires uh, the axle that is on it now is too long so we bought a shorter one we just haven't replaced it yet because we're just trying to get a lot of the body stuff done so I uh, got the new tires and a new axle for it to bring this part in more so you don't see it as much and then uh, the engine is in there it's all shiny and stuff kind of hard to see hopefully next video we could get it uh, start working on the wiring to try to get it running because we have a couple of ideas for the exhaust but we got to figure out the wiring first before we start that 
Uh, it didn't really do anything in the back yet. Uh, we don't. I'm, we're debating on making the this part come down or not. Uh, we're still on the fences with that. Uh, we do have an idea for a back and a front bumper. Uh, we're thinking to get a old wagon and cut it because it has the uh, curves to come out and curve around so that's another idea we have and then we're going on this side you got the other fender other piece of wood another door and I uh, we're gonna have our shifter here it's not hooked up yet but we're thinking about having it here so when you look it kind of looks like it's just sitting real high and uh, then I added this antenna here uh, it's actually made out of just a piece of rod uh, nothing real special with that we were first thinking to have something like this for our shifter but uh, we think it'd be a little too complicated so we're not going to do that and another thing we're thinking is so on the doors uh, we have to uh, still do like some body work down here and figure it all out but we were thinking to put hinges on back here and fake handles up here to make it look like suicide doors. But we're not done with the fenders up here. As I said, we just tacked it on here before we figured everything out. But our fender, we're thinking, is gonna come like kinda curve in and then kinda curve down to like finish this look. So we don't know if it's going to mess with where the handle would be because then we could use that handle to just hide this like right here to make this look clean like the shifter so we still got a lot to do but hopefully uh, by the time next video this is on and we could work the shifter and if you look in here Another thing we're gonna do is we're gonna build a, a dash because we have a lot of room up here to work with. So we're thinking of a dash and so we could have the key from the, for the engine up there and stuff. So that's where we're at right now. Uh, I, uh, once we get the uh, front end fully mounted where we want it and how we want it, uh, I think that's when we should start working on our grill but as of right now it we are still working on it and I know it looks like the tire will rub that it's close but I'm just gonna set you guys here to see if you could see when we turn it's not not rubbing at all nope knock that wood off but it's it's real close here but it's not rubbing so uh, we made sure it it's it, it's pretty even on both sides and uh, so hopefully next uh, next video is of us uh, wiring it up and possibly getting it running so I hope you guys like this video make sure to like subscribe leave a comment I hope you guys enjoyed your cruise down Delashment Road.